Hey guys, welcome to Jenny Bakes, and today we're going to be making a brown butter cake with a brown butter pear and custard filling. The brown sugar pecans and the brown butter cream cheese frosting is so good, and if you haven't tried a brown butter dessert, this is the one that you need to try. So let's get started. To make your cake and decorate your cake, you're going to need brown sugar pecans. So the first thing that I did was cut up two and a half cups of pecans. In a small bowl, I melted 1 4th cup plus 2 tablespoons of salted butter, and to that I added 1 4th cup of brown sugar. I also added 1 teaspoon of vanilla and 1 teaspoon of cinnamon. Once all your ingredients are into your bowl, mix it until it's well combined. If your mixture is a little watery, you can always add a little bit more brown sugar. Once I finished with my brown sugar glaze, I just poured it all on top of the chopped pecans and I mixed it until it was well combined. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees and then I covered a pan with parchment paper and I placed all my pecans spread it out over the pan and I baked it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Just make sure that you are not burning your pecans. To make my cake, I softened 3 4 cups of butter and I added 1 and a half cups of sugar to it and beat it until it was nice and fluffy. Here I'm adding 1 cup of sour cream and 1 tablespoon of vanilla bean paste. I prefer to use vanilla bean paste over vanilla extract because when you're making a vanilla cake, you want that strong vanilla bean flavor. Whenever making cakes, you should use sour cream yogurt, or even buttermilk because this makes your cake nice and moist. The next thing is to beat in your five eggs. I did this two at a time and then one at the end and I just beat everything until it was nice and combined. In a separate bowl I combined my dry ingredients which was three cups of all-purpose flour, four and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. In a measuring cup, I measured one cup of milk, and I'm going to alternate the milk and the flour when putting my whole batter together. When combining your batter, it's important to start and end with dry ingredients, so I added half of my dry ingredients, then I added all the milk, and then I added half more of the dry ingredients. The last thing that you have to do with your cake batter is add one cup of your brown sugar pecans and then fold it together with the spatula. I divided my cake batter into two 8 inch pans and then I put it into the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. You might want to check it at the 25 minute mark to make sure that you do not overcook your cakes. To make my brown butter custard I added 9 eggs to a bowl and then I added half a cup plus 1 8 cup of sugar into that bowl. To that I also added 1 4th cup of cornstarch into my bowl. Using a whisk I just beat these ingredients until it's a nice thick paste. Once it becomes a paste, continue to beat it until it's pale yellow. In a saucepan over medium heat, I brought 1 and a half cups of whole milk to a boil and to that I also added 1 teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. Once the milk was boiled, I slowly started adding it to my egg yolk mixture. You want to do this very little at a time so that you do not cook your egg yolks. I put everything into the saucepan and cooked it over low heat until it became a nice thick custard. Be sure to always mix it and to be watching it closely because this custard can easily curdle. After my custard was finished, I mixed in 3.5 tablespoons of brown butter and basically to make brown butter, you just Melt butter over medium heat until it turns golden brown and amber in color. Now onto the brown butter pear filling. I peeled three pears and I cut them into small pieces. In a pan over medium heat, I melted my butter, 
until it became brown butter and once again you just continue to cook your butter until it becomes golden brown amber in color and has a caramelly smell I then added all my pears into my pan and I continued to cook it until it was nice and tender and it was reduced quite a bit And finally onto the brown butter frosting. The first thing that I did was melt three sticks of butter and I made it into brown butter. I then refrigerated the brown butter until it was nice and set. You can keep it a little bit softened so it's easy to beat. So in the beginning you want to beat just your butter alone and once that's nice and fluffy you can go ahead and add your one package of cream cheese. Beat the butter and the cream cheese until it's really nice and fluffy. This is an optional ingredient, but I also added one fourth cup of shortening to just let my frosting set a little bit better. At this time, you can also add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And the last ingredient that I added was two and a half cups of powdered sugar. You can always add more or less depending on your sweetness level. And now it's time to assemble your cakes. So I cut my two 8 inch cakes into two layers and then I took an 8 inch cake board and I spread some of the brown butter frosting onto it. I placed my first cake layer on my cake board and then I drizzled some of the pear syrup and this just keeps the cake moist when you stack them all together. I then made a border with my brown butter frosting and this is just to make sure that the custard and the pears do not seep out of the sides when I'm stacking my cake. Here I added a decent amount of my brown butter custard. You can go as much or as little as you like. Some people don't like a lot of filling and some people like a lot. Spread the custard evenly around the whole cake. And finally I added my brown butter pear. You can just spread this out as evenly as possible. I placed my next cake layer on top and I continued this process until my whole cake was stacked. With my brown butter frosting I just filled in the gaps between each layer and then I just added more frosting all over the cake to frost the cake. To frost my cake I just added the frosting on the top and I slowly pushed it out till it came over the edges and then I added more frosting around the side of the cake to completely cover the cake. Since I was looking for more of a homemade rustic look, I didn't worry about frosting the cake perfectly. Using the brown sugar pecans, I just placed them on my hand and then I pressed them into the side of the cake and this just creates a nice border for your cake. And the last thing that I did to decorate my cake was to pipe swirls on the top of my cake. To give it a little bit extra decoration, I just went ahead and sprinkled more of the pecans on top. And there you have it, how to make the best brown butter dessert in the world. You need to try this cake. The brown butter frosting combined with the pecans and the pear filling is just the perfect combination. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this week's video and if you haven't already, please check out my previous videos how to make tile shortbread cookies and how to make matcha green tea macarons. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe to Jenny Bakes to see new videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!